where was I at? Is it behind this thing? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. <clears throat> and some of them, we can just talk our way through it. Like this first one here, can you guys tell me what that would be written as? Um, if you were right, just without. It would be U to the eight. Yep, U to the eight. Do you guys need me to do that, or is it, is that simple enough for you? You did it right. I was going to say, do you need me the first one? Yeah. That's you to the eight. I don't know. I was going to say, do you guys need me to physically do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then let's go try these next ones. I'll leave them up on the screen. If you get stuck on any of them, let me know. Okay. So then, or, it, or I'll check the answers to see if you did them right. So I'll do them while you're doing them. I finished B. Did you finish it? I figured B, if anyone's going to cause it, B and C are probably going to be the ones. Now remember, that means you take everything to the third power. So you have y to the 19 to 12, x to the 6. That's right, but why didn't you do it? It's also been raised to that power. So you did it with two. You see it? But somehow you neglect to do it with that one. Negative 27 x to the 6 power. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah the, the rest of the were fine. Put big dot there so you know you all apply all that together. Yep. Framework. See if look good, good. See if you can. This was a mistake. The two negative power is negative 32. You somehow did five squared. Oh. Awesome. So what we have, so what we have is like this. No. There's nothing to combine. Well, there. You can, right, right. So it just takes a lot of love. But these these guys can combine. Oh, yes. And the meat guys should combine. Okay. And they can also multiply these together. Okay. Bombing. Let me pull that one up. This one seems to. <laughs> Tell me I can make this. <laughs> there we go. So I'll grab enough for it. So if you go back and look at this, you know what I'm talking about. Mm 
I like when things pop up that you don't expect. All right, today is 4.30. Just do a review for test four. What's that? There's a dinner I'm supposed to be doing tonight. Well, there's a, they got something going on in that room next to us. Is it the veterans dinner? Maybe it quite possibly is. Uh, a lot of things occur in that lobby. I was going to, I thought the test was today, so I studied my butt off so I could go through it quickly. You mind if I head out? I don't care. Yeah, okay. that's fine. If you're fine, that's fine. You don't have to do it. Thank you. Sure, sure, sure. Well, then we'll, then you get personal attention. <laughs> See you Thursday. See you Thursday. See you guys. See you guys. See you guys. See you guys. So remember, when you do this, um, let me get my hands up. Everything's getting to the third power, so we have negative. Uh, so what did you get when you did? So what, what did you get for your final answer? It was finished? Well, I, 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 it's, it's still negative. negative. Yes, it's negative. Go ahead and complete it. I'll go work this. Okay, I got negative 108 x to the 8. Stay with you. So you got negative 108 x to the 8. Keep up. And y to the 9. Uh -huh. And z to the 8. Right. Okay. So you got your x to the 12. Well, y didn't have anything combined with it. Right. And then t to the 8. Got it. The important step was this one here. For some reason, students do that mistake a lot. They forget that this thing's actually attached mm -hmm. to that exponent as well. I'll put up C and you can go ahead and try it. There's letter C. Yeah. If I have a negative two at the bottom here, mm -hmm. I reverse that so it would be, so be positive. No, no, no. You're mis you're conflating two different things. That negative in front of the two is not an exponent negative. That's a negative one. Right. It's like a negative one. Exactly right. So you got to take that to the fifth power along with everything else. Okay. So I don't. Yeah. You can't. No. You can't shift them. No. The only way is if that was if a negative is. exponent. That's the only time that works. In fact, it looks like none of these problems will require you to move anything. So you're not even dealing with negative exponents anywhere in this section. So that became each of the ten power. Good. Thirty-two. Well, what do you have? Do you have a division bar or what? Yeah, a division bar. Over. I'm sorry. I have a division bar. Okay. Thirty-two w to the twentieth. Close. It's negative thirty-two. When you take a negative number to the fifth power, it's negative. So this is I. Yeah. Right. Exactly right. <laughs> D, it looks like these last one are easier than the other one, so hopefully these will go quick or easy for you. Uh, 
I get 16x to the 8. Uh-huh. E to the 4. Good, that's fine. Okay, good. Okay. So all you need. Yeah. I don't have to make a fraction. I just do it. Just, I just, I just do. Okay. So that should be done to the total. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good, good, good. So those are, these are all, you can tell these are earlier in the section when we weren't doing with negative exponents or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So as we go farther in the test, obviously, it's going to go into more details. Let's, all right. Rewrite that thing without an exponent. What does it say here? Why does it end with a comma? <laughs> so I say we write without an exponent. That's correct. So, because you know the number to all these powers, you, it's not a variable. You know what you're dealing with here. So there will be. Um, How do you make the negative go away? Do you remember? I gotta, I gotta reverse. Right. So, what are you gonna have? What are you What are you gonna write first then? Um, I, um, three would be on top. Right. And two would be five. Uh huh. And what power is all that raised to? Oh, wow. Right now you right exactly. Now it's just like the problems we were doing in the previous in the previous problems. So I will, I will rewrite what, three times three times four times. Right, right. Well, if you, you do, do it two, four times two times two times. You know what those numbers are? Three to the fourth and two to the fourth. Yeah, your calculator doesn't no, not a problem. Two to the fourth will make us sixteen. Mm -hmm. 27 times 3 is 81. So it sounds like you got your final answer is 81 over 16. Mm -hmm. Good. <clears throat> All right, so let's go and start. We'll just go A, B, C. It looks like so this is another big one. This is where the cancellation properties are at. Remember, so try start with a. We'll see how you go about this. Now, what does it say for the directions? What do you think it's going to say? Do not what? Contain. Zero, so negative number. That's right. Your answers do not contain negative exponents. They do not. So all of your exponents must be positive. These are just like your homework problems. So go ahead, try a. We'll see how you do. We'll compare notes when you're finished. Now, would that be 9 over 8 to the second power? 8? Eight. 8 over 9. You got 9 over 8, but what happened to x? To the, to the second power. Right, right. 9 over 8 x squared. That's right. Exactly right. All right, go on to b then. Okay. What you got? Okay. Oh, okay. Seven. Seven over four. Uh-huh. X is at the bottom. Uh-huh. 
And y is at the top. All right, so it's 7y divided by 4x. Good, good. Great, good. All right, so these are te testing some of the cancer or the subtraction, the exponent and the subtraction rule. That's what we're catching here. What would this one be? You can probably just tell me real quick. Do you know it? Which one do you think? C. C. So that would be um, at the top, x to the second power. Uh huh. And what would be at the bottom? Do you have to put the one? You do not. You don't. You know, you just want to ask if you don't have to. So just x squared. Second. You can write x squared over one, or you can just write x squared. Either one's fine. I guess x squared over one wouldn't count as simplifying, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right, try D then. D? D, yes, please. I had a thing for sevens in this one. Okay, so we're looking at it. So seven. So it's 5B and low is 7D. That's right. Mm -hmm. 5B divided by 7D. Very good. Mm -hmm. Right. You got it. And let's close it out with the E. E to the fourth. This kind of stuff happened to me in school. I can tell that this, this, subject for you is more your comfort zone than the stuff you can just tell and I, stuff like that happened to me too there were things that i liked and didn't like as, as you go along Okay, so yeah, five, the top part is five, B to the third. Uh-huh. The bottom is A to the second problem. Good, perfect. All right, good. Got through that, no problems. Let's scroll on. Now, negative exponents are going to start appearing, I, I'm guessing, for the next stuff. Uh, I'll try that one. It's a little tricky one. It's zero exponent. Remember, it's special. So that's actually the one times one. So yeah, zero. Let me grab it. The zero is not on attached to that five though, is it? No. Not not the five in front, not the negative five, is it? No. So you shouldn't be taking negative five to the zero. So and this is exactly the for people that are tentative about certain things, this is what this is trying to figure out. You know, this you might want to do this to yourself. Although the problem you're going to get on your test may not look anything like this. Mm -hmm. It'll be similar. Right. You'll have something to the zero power is all I can promise. But put this dot here so that you know the negative five is not attached to all that. Now, with that in mind, can you tell me what this equals? Negative five. That's right, because it's negative five times one. That's right. Yeah, don't let don't let the zero don't don't let you gotta that's the thing probably also about math that people are not used to is the level of detail that you have to have is more than you're probably used to in, in your everyday life. All right, so we come down. All right, here's the next one. Write this thing without a negative exponent. So number six, try to redo that. So, so that so that's a that's a negative you know, negative three over x. So I got negative sign uh -huh. x at the top 
in the fourth column, and uh -huh. three is at the bottom. No, three didn't have it. Does not have an exponent. What's the exponent of three? It didn't have it. What is it though? One. Right, which is positive. Should it have moved if it had a positive exponent? So, what's the, so what's the negative thing in front of the? Front Could trick you. To test if you understand the difference between the exponent and the negative. I wouldn't say trick is not really the right answer to that. Let me grab it and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. This was. All of these are to test certain capabilities uh, on these exponents. And this one here, I no happen to notice throughout my time that students confuse the two of those. So I threw it in specifically, or the book might have done. I don't remember where the problem came from. Go ahead and throw it up here. What we can do is come up with a method for you to work with this. You see that negative out front is like negative one. So what I'm going to do is this. What items should be moved to eliminate the negative exponent? It's um, it's minus um, negative one. Right. So it would go down. Right. So negative one is going to stay because it's got a positive exponent. Three is going to stay because its exponent is positive. What is on the bottom? Well, that's not true. One. So it's just negative three x to the fourth. And what happened to you is that thing and that thing is bothering you when they're not related at all. So that you have to be careful about. I'm going to give you something else. Um, Uh, make it real, real bad. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Let's see what you do with this. Uh, so it's a simpler type of thing. You got to move some stuff around. Let's see where they where everything ends up. Now, my trouble is the front. Five doesn't. What's its exponent? Don't fit it. Think you get, yeah, you've got to get into that thinking. Is it, if you think it doesn't have an exponent, then you don't know what to do with it. But once you know it's a positive one, you should know what to do with it. What do you do with those items that have positive exponents? You mean a odd exponent? No, positive. If the exponent is not negative, it's already positive. What should you do with that item? That's right. Only things with negative exponents can move around. So I got five. Right, five should have stayed put. Uh, negative two. That there goes on spot. Okay, right. So then you got two to the third on top. But I to the fifth. On the bottom, almost perfectly right. Except we're going to do. I'm going to do, show you why it's different from what you just answered. So let's move things around that need to be moved around. So I'm going to recreate my fraction here. X to the fifth goes down here. Uh, two to the third comes up here. But there's an item we did not deal with down here. A negative sign. Well, the, the, way, the easiest way to answer this, this is eight, five times eight is 40, right? Okay. Eight times five is 40. 
Okay, I got you. So, yeah. This negative in the language works. We typically just put it out front. And this is related to the earliest, earliest stuff we did in this class. Look at the difference between the way these are thought of. Parentheses would protect and hold the negative in its place. But here, since there's no parentheses, that means that this negative is not subject to that exponent. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So what I would do is this, watch. I'm gonna take this and deconstruct a little bit of it into this way, negative one times two to the negative three. Now, you leave this one alone, but what about this guy now? Put down there. The negative one is still at top, isn't it? By the way, that also comes out to be negative one eight after you simplify it, but the initial step is different. Here, only two was subject to the exponent. Here, negative and the two are both subject to the exponent. We can't get confused. I'll let's try one. Let's see what happens in this. Um, well, we'll have fun ones in the next section. I don't want to get too far off track okay. from what we're doing. But there's this to me, you are, you're having a fundamental problem here and that's it's of a fundamental nature so it's one of those things that it's probably causing you difficulties and other things that you don't realize you know what i'm saying this this uh particular snafu that you're having let's see what the next ones look like before i try to invent one we might have one okay these are perfect so these are when these are like all out assault so try any of try start with a and we'll compare notes. Okay. What you got it? Well, I mean, I'm gonna, I, I'll am i i finish right now. Okay, what you got? No. Mm -mm. Is there a negative right there now in front of the fraction? You're doing A, right? Yeah, A. So I'm doing the negative three times two times. No, no, no. That's three raised to the negative third power. Do you remember when we did this in class, the first thing we tried to do was make the powers positive. Mm -hmm. Let me grab this one here. Of course, the same deal, you're under the same directions as before. If we want no negative exponents when you're done. Okay, so the first thing we can do is to make the outer exponent positive. That's typically what I would do is the following. My first step that I did just now went like this. See that? You remember turning it upside down? Yeah. Change the outer exponent to positive. Now 
Now you can fix it up now if you want, like the insides. I might do this next. I think I did do this next. One over three d cubed c to the positive fourth raised to the third. Did you follow what I did? See what I did? Because that's a negative. You don't want any negatives, so you want to bring it down. I have to be first. Okay. Now I'm going to have only positive exponents. So now what's the very last step? What do you do with all these things inside? Okay, you want to add the bring? So now they're um, time to seven. Everything gets raised to the third power. Right. So I'm going to have one to the third power on the top. Three to the third power down here. What's the V going to become? V to the ninth. V to the ninth, right? So it's V to the third times three times three is nine. What about the C? What are you going to get for that? C to the 12. Right, C to the 12. And while that answer that we have here is perfectly fine, almost certainly you're going to write it as 1 over 27 V to the ninth C to the 12. There's multiple ways of doing these problems, which is kind of part of the problem. Um, so with that said, I have tried to stay with one way of doing most of these things. And my first step is to get rid of an outer negative. If we're the inverse. All of these problems are of this nature. In this last section, take a look at B. So I'll tell you what, let me grab this end. I'm gonna have you work it on the board, okay? So I can see what you're doing. Maybe it'll give me a chance to see what you're thinking as you're doing. The markers up there. Yeah, the markers up there. You've got to touch the black marker at the top. No. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Put down there. Yeah, you want to do is click on that and I'll let you write. So, okay, so I'm going to do two times. Well, two, that's an exponent. So I, exponent. I, the words you're using, I'm not sure if that's not for how to So two to the square, so that's four and a half. That's four. I didn't write down what you need. So two square to the next times negative one. Okay. What are you going to put for the exponent of that? Negative two. Good. Okay. Sure. What's the power on end? Negative. See at the top there's an eraser you can click on. Right. You can erase whatever you can. I mean, you, you, you have to click it so it's 
I was very doing now that you reached it. It's just being in here is your life button. And one to square the Q times the four. So that he has a name is going to start to be a bit of a game set. Great. Six. Mm -hmm. Almost done. So I got negative x one, but I need to go. And negative x one. Oh, here. Yeah, you get rid of those, remember? So, is this my reverse being now? Yeah, they split wherever there's negative x one, they switch to level. Switch, okay. So, so I'm going to be. No. no. Say only those with negative. You didn't. You don't flip it. The entire thing is not raised to a negative power. So you're not just switching, turning it upside down. That's not true. If, in order for you to turn it upside down, you need the entire thing to be raised to a negative power. Okay. Maybe next one. You just move the items that have negative exponents right now. So, um, four stays up top. Now, this becomes such that the um, M for the end of bottom is 18 minus 2. Move, move that M squared down first. Move the M squared at the end of the 6 down first. And put the rest of it. The rest of it. Sorry, I made it. Now, stop. Go back to the before if you look at it. You were going to do 18 minus 2. Mm -hmm. Look it out over it. what are you going to actually do when you do the simplifying? Now, what are you actually going to be doing? And all those. Two. Yes, you're not going to be well. You're not going to be subtracting. Are you? Oh, I'm going to add them. Right. So, so then go to the go to let see. So trying to simplify in your first step right after was not a good idea for you because you were trying to think of subtracting exponents. I heard you say it, mm -hmm. but it's actually you're adding exponents. Like look at this. In, in fact, I would have been interested to see. Since you thought of subtracting two, making the 16, I'm guessing, right? What would you have done with this? That is gone, right? And that's and you can see six plus six is not gone. You understand? So trying to do any simplifying with them not in their proper location is not a good idea. Oh, if everything they're positive. If, if, right. If everything positive first, then you won't have this stuff like that going on. Go ahead and finish it up. Let's get a new. Okay. So into the two. All right, let me give you C. Go ahead and try that one.
Okay. What you got? So. Okay. And the top. Uh -huh. I'm at five x four. Three to the cube. Three to the third. Yeah, third. Three to the third. Is that? One? And the five with the with the cube. No, oh, okay. I didn't finish. No, no, I didn't. Don't I have to move stuff to make it to put the make sure uh, everything's at the part of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, that's fine. So in my top line, this is what I have. Okay. Okay, my top line. Uh, I didn't finish everything. I got, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I got five x to the fourth. Uh huh. Y to the third. Uh huh. X to the seventh. Right. And Y to the fifth. At the Good. Time. Okay, that's all I got too. At the bottom, I have 30 and Z to the ninth. Okay. okay, go ahead and clean it up. Let's see what you got. Okay, that's where I'm at. So at the top, let's see, I'll right, right? At the top, I got X to the 11th part one. Yeah, you're right. Okay, and Y to the 8th. Uh -huh. And below, I got 6, Z to the 9th. Yep, perfect. These are pencil ones, aren't they? Is there? Oh, I didn't mean to write on there. Oh, let me erase that. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I meant I wanted to see if we had a part E or just how many questions is there in here? Let me see. Oh, there's only 20 points. Okay. So this is the last one of this section. Go ahead and give that. Oh, this one looks pretty serious. So First thing I do is what's in the bigger parentheses, darker parentheses. You know, I want to make that an exponent of property that's going to be.
least as far as I get. So I don't know what to do. With Are you you're, you're so you got to a stuck point? All right, let me write up a little bit here. This is the way I approach the issue. Right? Let's see what you did. First is my method. So what I did is I got this guy right here. You can see the six divided by one to the fourth. That's on the top because it's positive. That goes on the bottom since it's negative. And then just I'm putting the dot. I'm inserting a dot there to help myself. Did you do that part? Yeah, I'm just right here. All right. Then the next step is I'm going to take that thing down there. Let me see you the six divided by u to the fourth. And then inside, I still have to the third. I haven't, I haven't handled that yet. But I'm going to have two x u cubed z. That will be raised to the third power. Does that make sense to you what I did? Put the z at the bottom? I put it at the bottom because they had a negative exponent. They wouldn't call it, isn't it? Oh, okay. You got Z negative four. Right. Okay. But I changed this negative. Right. I got to positive. Okay. And so it didn't become positive when you flipped it. It only becomes positive when you move it. So now I had to take it from here and make it into a positive one. And we like so um, do you know what you would do now? Why don't you take it from there and see what you get? Okay. Well, I know I'm going to read to the six over a YouTube for our times. Uh -huh. Three at top. Bottom is eight x cube, u to the ninth, and z to the cube. Right. The only problem is there's no three on top. When you move that z, you got a one on the top, didn't you? What is one raised to the third power? That's a common thing, especially in the midst of a long problem. That kind of mis those kind of mistakes happen. Um, so, well, anyways, you can see that. Um, well, as long as you can or aware of it, that should probably be good. All right, go ahead and finish up. Mm -hmm. Did you take everything in those parentheses to the third power? You did that, right? Yeah, I So over here we have one over eight x cubed u to the ninth d e to the third. All right, then what I'm going to do is well, when you multiply fractions, you simply multiply across, right? Mm -hmm. So the top will be z to the six times one. It's z to the six. Right, that's not a big deal. And down here, 
you can put it just put it there or do you see that I can combine this U with that one? Mm -hmm. What are you going to get? Yes, mm -hmm. So I get eight X cubed U to the 13 times the Z cubed. Almost done. You see that it can be simplified just a little more. Yeah, so I'm going to so. so I can, I can, uh, do I do that? to the six or do I have to be in six B? Well, yeah, I'm not sure I understand the okay. idea of your question. You get D6, do you have to, can I do anything? You can simplify this. So, yeah, those items can simplify. Do you remember what you do? I know, but what do you do when you're dividing? If adding is multiplication, mm -hmm. what should dividing be? Mm -hmm. No. If multiplication is addition, then dividing must be mm -hmm. missing the phrase. Yeah, I know. So if multiplication requires adding, then then division requires yes. So in terms of what are you going to get from Z's? Z3. Z to the third. Z to the third. Right. So the way we did it this way, remember, subtract three. Mm -hmm. So I mean, this is still a positive exponent up there, right? So you get Z to the positive three on top, and at the bottom I got eight X to the third, U to the thirteenth. Now, the last question on the exam deals with uh, scientific notation. I remember I had you doing it on your calculator instead of actually trying to work it. So let's go and let me zoom out a little bit so I can get this. Um, So the idea is you take your calculator and let it do it. Um, so let's tap back to here. You got your machine handy? Yeah. Let me grab mine. Mine is just like yours, I believe. So do you remember how to get that thing to make you, to tell you what the uh, scientific notation is? So I'm gonna get my on. Clear this. Three three. Oh wait. Three nine. Three zero. And then I gotta remember myself too. Um Oh, there it is. Second DRG. See the DRG button? Go up there. Second. And then you're going to want to switch that over to psi. Right? Yes, sir. And then just hit equals and it will and puts it in there for you. 3.93. No, be careful. Read your screen carefully. 9.3. It does not say to the 10th. There's little... You don't see it? Doesn't your calculator do it like mine? Yeah. Can't you see that little pen in there? Get a 10. But you just mentioned it when you said oh, yeah. it. It's not free to the 10 power. 
is the fifth power. It's 10 to the sixth power. So your calculator just literally writing, it's got that little 10 in there. So your calculator is going to look at it like this. Oh, in fact, let me put it up. I can capture this. This guy right here, allow me to expand. Come on. <laughs> it is. It's backwards. See that? I wonder if I, what I can do to fix that. That just does that way. Oh, I think this this goes that way. That's not the one. Something has reflected the thing. I, I I'm not really caring so much about that. I just need you to see. Actually, look. I don't think it'll let me use the regular camera with that thing running. Uh, if I try to run the regular camera, which I don't know, let's see what happens. Where's my thing at? Don't mirror my video. <laughs> Who would have a stupid setting? Why would anybody even have something like that? Okay. All right. What I need you to see though is, and can we? How far can we zoom in here? That's as far as she goes. What's going on here? Oh, I see. Here is not liking me today. I'll tell you what. Where can I buy it? I'll put it in here, I think. Let's see if I can. Yeah, we'll see if it'll let me put it in there. See, and see if it'll let me sneak it up in there. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, so that thing there is, it's almost written the way you're supposed to write it. It just has a small amount of area to display it in. So the correct answer looks like this. It depends on the book. They either use an X or they use a dot. But that's what it's trying to say. Okay. Now take the next one and put it back into regular notation. So decimal notation, essentially. So type it in exactly how it looks and then change the mode back to float. You say times? Did you do a times? Negative third. Okay, that came up to 0.0037. This is what I got. Did you get the same thing? Same. Good. All right. So that completes the, the items for the exam. Do you have any questions specific to, for me that you want to ask? 
All right, we'll leave. Well, you can always write me an email or whatnot. Um, but I'm going to shut off. The, I'm going to stop the recording now. All right, and it, it should be available to me when I get home. Let's stop all this business. And then when I go to put it, it has to do. Um, it has to 